Our finals are set, but before we get into that serious business, a grudge match for the ages. We're talking two legendary surfers. Lisa Anderson going up against Sofia Milanovic, 35 minute heat. Chris Cote here with Ross Williams. Ross, a lot of history with these two surfers in the lineup. It's going to be very exciting to see old fires reigniting. And yes, this is, for all intents and purposes, for fun. But these are two of the most competitive surfers still on earth. And I'll tell you what, they will be going blow for blow here at Lower Trussels. Uh, this is going to be really fun to watch. We're on the other side of high tide right now. I think the waves will improve. On the other side of high tide right now, I think the waves will improve. And Sophia and Lisa Anderson still ripping. Well, one of my personal, I, I can actually, two of my personal favorite female surfers, Lisa Anderson, Sophia Milanovic. Sophia, of course, world champion as well as Lisa Anderson. She's got world titles. And, you know, these, uh, these gals could definitely mix it up with the world's best on the women's side of the WCT. So great to see them out there showing they still got it right there. She hasn't been in a jersey in a while, so you can bet there's probably some nerves. But talk about form, style, power. Lisa Anderson, I would say of all the uh, female surfers in the history of our sport, she has really epitomized kind of the uh, modern era of female surfing. Say she's like a mix of the Tom Curran and Kelly Slater of uh, the female side of our sport. Beautiful oh. power surfing right there from Lisa Anderson. Still got it, Ross. That I just got put in a trance. That was style clinic right there from Lisa Anderson. And Sophia looking really sparky too. Nice little zip off that bottom turn. And just got a little ahead of the game there. You can see she had her eyes on the prize. But it, we're gonna we're gonna cut her some slack. This heat just started. Again, style clinic from Lisa Anderson, looking really cruisy. Yeah, Lisa, of course, got multiple magazine covers, video parts, and you know you want to talk about superstar celebrity status. Sophia Milanovic, you got in the Peru. She is the queen of Peruvian surfing. Who did you look up and who inspired you as a kid to, to bring you to a professional surfing career that you're at now? I looked up to both of these women. Um, you know, it's really cool. Um, you know, I got to be on tour with Sofia for a couple years and celebrate her retirement. And she's just been um, a great role model for so many people, especially what she's doing with her, you know, helping helping her community and, and the younger kids growing up in Peru. I think that's amazing. Um, and, and Lisa, she's just, you know, paved the way for, for the sport. And I got to surf with her on Roxy for a few years and kind of learn from her. So um, it's really cool to see um, the WSL give the girls an opportunity to just come back and show their stuff. Yeah. Let's see, uh, that's the blue jersey right there. Lisa found herself a little nugget here, Chris. Yeah, nice little wave for uh, Lisa Anderson. Hung up just a little bit. You know, I like that uh, we've got two of the world's best surfers kind of out there assessing the conditions. You can bet the uh, surfers coming up in those two finals are watching right now, but as we see 26 to go here, let's go down to the desk for some highlights and maybe a special guest. Well, first of all, you know, we never got to have a heat at Lowers. So it would have been one of the classic, like, dream tour uh, destinations for our time, but it, it didn't happen. But, uh, but, you know, there's such respect amongst the guys, you know, Michael Ho, Simon, Shane, Sean, you know, for all us to be out there. It was a big reunion, really. It was a, you know, it was a fun occasion and... Uh, well, it's 19.50 to go. Sofia Milanovic, surfer in the white jersey, snapping it on her back end. So, of course, Sofia, her list of accolades, I mean, that would take us hours to complete. And we just watched a, just a short piece from her foundation, Proyecto Sofia, helping uh, a youth of Peru. And Lisa Anderson going for the layback jam. That was a Ross Williams special right there. I love that. So uh, we, we, have a, we have a heat on our hands, folks. You know, we we kind of mentioned, yeah, it's fun and games, but their score's dropping. The judges are all watching closely, and Lisa and Sophia are going blow for blow here. Hey, she just put the scuba tank on and laid back right there. I love that maneuver from Lisa Anderson, so mixing it up. And, and I absolutely love having Rabbit Bartholomew on a desk. I mean, you talk about a distinguished gentleman. If you had to pick one person to kind of represent our sport, 
Bugs would be your spokesman. Just a class act, very sharp and smart, so in tune with our sport. So really cool to get his insight. You know, we mentioned the other day you got to go out and surf in that Heritage Series Expression Session, Bugs. You know, we hear the old cliche, once a competitor, always a competitor. You know, how bad did you want to beat those guys, or was it more of just a fun thing out there? Be honest with us, because I know you guys had some great rivalries back in the day. The boards were good. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I thought, you know, those you know, eight-foot Brewer single fins and Parish single fins were incredible at, say, Sunset Beach, Hawaii. But I think, um, you know, you, you couldn't have ridden Chopu on that, on that board. You know, you, you just would, you would have died. So, you know, I think the, the equipment is amazing. And now, I've got, you know, the frontier of, of fins and just putting the, the leaderage, putting the whole thing together. You know, Mick will be the strong guy as far as the knowledge of what to do in the home stretch. For Adriano, he's just hungry. I think the, that semi-final win over Philippe Toledo was a, a very significant heat win for him. But, uh, you know, I'm expecting a, a really good final and, um, I, you know, there won't be a struck match between them. I just think, you know, as we go into that home stretch, I'm you're starting to think that Mick's coming to the fore. This is number one and number two in the world, as Strider pointed out. They're, they're trying to get that world title here in 2015. This could be the heat that they look back on and go, that was the difference in the year. What's going through their mind right now as we kind of speculate, knowing that you've been a world champ in that situation? Well, I'll tell you what, the Hurley Pro has been a, a really pivotal event for the world title race. You know, you come out of the Hurley Pro, you go to the European leg before Hawaii, and that momentum has been just so powerful. It's been so important. So I think what they I, I think that both those guys are aware that the win here is really going to make a, a big, big statement towards the world title. I think there'll be a lot of respect out there in the early going stages of this final, and then once they settle into it, I, I really believe that priority will play a major role in this. It'll be that judgment of selection of waves. Bugs, thank you so much for entertaining us the other day in the Heritage Series Expression Session, as well as giving us some great insight as we prepare for the finals coming up next. Guys, the Heritage Series is well underway, out in the water right now, doing battle these two ladies with 7.20 on the, on the clock. Lisa Anderson's looking awfully good. Yeah, you're right, Todd. Ross, Lisa Anderson, silky smooth, as usual. Yeah, you know what's cool about Lisa's surfing, and, and she's been this way from the get-go, effortless speed. She doesn't really ever freak out in terms of pumping and, and weaving and, and bouncing around. It looks like she's just being kind of towed by a jet ski. So I don't know how she stays so calm and quiet on her surfboard, but yet she uh, has that speed that is just effortless, effortless through those bottom turns. And, and what it happens, Chris, is it allows her to lean into some of those classic snaps. Well, I always thought Stephanie Gilmore got her, you know, style from watching Parco and Fanning, but in watching Lisa Anderson, you know, I see exactly where she draws right. her uh, her, her surf style from. And Sophia, classic style as well. Uh, she's got a lower center of gravity. I like that little hinge she has in her front arm. Kind of different, almost looks like a skateboarder. So she's got a pretty cool style as well, and uh, she's been ripping in this heat. We've got Lisa Anderson going up against Sophia Milanovic. This is scored. Lisa Anderson, she has a lead. Sophia, she needs a 7-9-0. So Lisa had a look, and that left Sophia Milanovic out the back and uh, with some legends of our sport currently battling it out in the lineup. We have two future legends heading out, but it's Sofia Milanovic right now trying to answer back. She needs a 7.9. I like that uh, the surfers heading out for the finals are kind of getting a, a, a really good look, and they're able to study the conditions and what's happening. So we see Lisa Anderson, of course, beauty and brutality in her turns. You see, bam, just, I mean, Perko-esque in her approach. She's got that classic kind of Tom Curran with a little bit of almost throwback, she's 70s style. I mean, she really has the best mix of, of modern surfing and classic surfing. And man, what a joy to watch Lisa Anderson surf. That was beautiful. Uh, you know, it really looks like she's kind of taking it lightly on a wave. She stands a little tall. And then it seems rah. like she's cruising. Yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden, she'll just rip into a beautiful slice. And look, so there's the cruisy vibe right here. Now she winds up. Now her intent is shown right here. Bang! It's really crisp. Beautiful style. And I want to say, look at that cool little knock knee adjustment she made on her uh, board right there after that wave. Again, it almost looks like she's riding a longboard. So I love the, the total use of her surfboard. Her style's gotten better over the years, I want to say. And that is uh, just a testament to how classic her technique is. Sofia Milanovic now needing a 7.9. Of course, Sofia, 
I mean, if you want to see more of her, just get on Netflix. I mean, she has been in about eight surf films, and uh, you know, bam, showing why she's got the power. She is an excellent tube rider. Ross, I know you've seen her in Ways of Consequence, and she will and can perform. Uh, she charges. I I've seen her go on waves where I was cringing, and she just handled it like a champ. Well, and if you're wondering, you know, man, that's going to cost a lot to ship that wherever I live. Well, you would have already gotten a big check, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Of course, big prize money on the line as well for the women. So thank you so much to Lisa Anderson, Sophia Milanovic, that Heritage Heat was awesome.